Welcome to Famous Crime Scenes. This episode is about Michael Jackson's death. June 25th, 2009, Staples Center. In Los Angeles, Michael Jackson is pro- is testing for his comeback concert named This Is It. This is the final curtain call. 30 p.m. Uh, Michael comes back to his rented mansion in Los Angeles. And... Um, he, yeah, he, you just seen that clip where he says it's the final curtain call, but he's actually in Los Angeles because there's like a big mansion there that he rented because he didn't rent it anything in London. So he went to London just to say that, and then in three, and then that concert would kick off in three weeks. And what's the problem exactly what happened? Uh, sir, I have a, we have a, a, a gentleman here that needs help, and he's not breathing yet. He's not breathing, and we need to, we're p- trying to pump him, but he's not, he's not okay. breathing, sir. So. Okay, how old is he? He's uh, 50 years old. Okay, so what you just heard was June 25th, 2009, 911 call. Now, that was from Michael Jackson's staff member. Um, he called 911 during, um, during my call was struggling for his life he was struggling for his life and dr conrad murray who was michael jackson's doctor um went like just so what really happened was that he said to himself saying like oh, i'm just gonna go to the bathroom for two minutes but then that was more longer than two minutes because murray's like cell phone um, Murray's cell phone was like, was like, so like, it prints out like these things, um, for like your cell phone, and then it sees like how much minutes you were on the phone for, and yes, he used his um iPhone one, and then he called his office and like he called his girlfriend and but then murray says like he says like when he came back to the room he found michael not breathing and then he was trying to do cpr on on the bed but that was like the wrong thing to do because if you are so dr conrad murray let's let's just get on to him so dr conrad murray wanted to go up to people and say Oh, hey, I'm Michael Jackson's doctor. Any doctor wanted to say that because they wanted to be like the king of pops, like famous. Like, but that never happened because he was never that famous because he was mostly bad because like six weeks before he died. He's been giving him a just propofol, which is this like kind of white, like milky thing. And he's been giving it to Michael, and then he started getting addicted to it. And he and like on some news is there been like some like phone call, like not phone calls, but like um like those like recordings of like michael jackson's doctor phone and then his voice is really like he said i love them i love them because they chat because they had a childhood i had no childhood I feel their pain. I hurt, you know? I hurt. And he's been recording all those things, like, all those nights, because in, like, a slurred voice, that does not sound like Michael. Because Michael sounds like, hey, or something like that, usually like this. But he talked like, I do not have a child, so I hurt, you know? And... That was not Michael. That was Michael just like intoxicated, full of propofol. 
and yes that was quite shocking that his doctor was giving him the powerful drug of all propofol which like like because most drugs like after like a few years of taking them um you'll die of it but propofol the first time you take propofol in like a couple of weeks if you keep taking it every week in like about weeks later you would die it would not take like years and years and years but then when he stopped breathing he tried to do cpr and cpr should be on hard surfaces and before he did that and did cpr um he injected like the overdose drug medicine and overdose dose drug medicine was this type of medicine for like people who had like a drug overdose now a drug overdose is like a meaning of it it's like where you take too many drugs and then you kind of get like 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 you're losing your life because you've been taking too many drugs like judy garland marilyn monroe and Elvis presley um but that was not Michael's fault because because Michael, like, on June 25th before he died, about, like, 10.40, he, like, were, like, all begging. But on, like, June 25th in the morning, he could not sleep. So he was giving him, like, all different types of drugs. But then he uses the dangerous drug propofol to help him sleep and that and that is just like not the thing that you would sleep with because me I would like I would like you know like go on an iPad for a little bit wait until my eyes are stuck and heavy no way yeah and then I will go to bed because I usually look at my iPad before I go to bed because there lose lots of like things going around in my head but I just want to think of like a nice video that I watched or funny so I could like think of it if something's scaring me in my head but I could just stop thinking of it and just and he just didn't sleep that night he felt uncomfortable and then after lots of begging he gave him a dose of propofol oh that's sorry that's from the other room um and then that, he fell asleep and then yeah but the overdose medicine, like, before, like, you do, you do it, like, for, like, a natural drug. But for a natural drug, like, cocaine or stuff like that, um, that would work for it. But for propofol, nothing worked for it because that nothing worked for it. And then after 20 to 30 minutes of CPR, um he called security he's been shouting like call security call security and then when staff members arrive that was like when 999 also known also known as 911 was called and yeah yeah i'm not getting emotional but everyone was like who lived near his like mansion were like all looking and then a man caught like on tape like like on the cell phone thing like called 50 year old male not breathing and he was like that has to be michael jackson because michael jackson's in there so yeah see part two